one is one this one is two is it isentropic process and this process will represent as actual process so let's show the actual is like this i want to define the efficiency for compressor you only remember efficiency always less than one it means that the numerator must be lower as compared to denominator you find that this drop is lower this drop is larger so defini definitions will be delta hs actually enthalpy drop eh? delta isentropic is smaller as compared to delta actual study has told you efficiency is not actual upon theoretical efficiency means that chota upon bada so in case of ideal gases delta hs we can write simply as cp multiplied by t2 minus t1 cp cp will get cancelled with denominator so we have formula for compressor is t2 minus t1 upon t2 dash minus t1 minus t1 is equal to is it 1 by eta c into t2 minus t1 i am interested in t2 dash so i will shift t1 on right side so this is t2 dash equals to t1 plus 1 by eta c t2 minus t1 objective is that if i use this step first of all how i proceed to t2 dash find out t2 dash first i have to use this equation then i have to use this equation then only i can calculate t2 dash so without calculating this to calculate t2 dash is it always beneficial so we get this value directly from 1 so what i do is that divide this entire by t1 so t2 dash by t1 t1 by t1 is 1 plus 1 by eta c t2 by t1 t2 by t1 is rp t2 by t1 is rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus so in one single step we can calculate t2 dash so this one is turbine process is 3 to 4 3 to 4 is isentropic process and is this process is the actual process taking place in turbine that is 4 dash 4 dash is actual this one is isentropic now this time is the actual enthalpy drop is less than isentropic enthalpy drop so your own efficiency turbine efficiency equals to is it a turbine isentropic efficiency because you are compared with isentropic process so equals to is it t3 minus t4 dash is a smaller value divided by t3 minus t4 is it a larger value now again if you come from 3 you have to first calculate 4 using this equation and then use this definition to calculate 4 dash if you are able to calculate 4 dash directly from 3 and we will skip this one can we save the time so again we go the same thing so this time i will solve like this this is t3 minus t4 dash is it equal to eta t into t3 minus t4 Let's multiply it. and i am interested in t4 dash so i will shift this t4 dash on this side and this term I will shift on this side. So I have T4 dash equals to T3 minus eta T multiplied by T3 minus T4. I want to calculate T4 dash on the basis of T3. We will divide by T3. So we have T4 dash by T3 equal to 1 minus eta T. T3 by T3 is 1. T3 D4 by T3. T4 by T3 is it 1 upon? So this is 1 upon Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by so in one step you can calculate this equation now see the figure see their graph and how they act check it one by one is this figure and are, is this figure is a mirror image one is compression one is expansion see this equation and see this equation is it one so basically you can read here one upon one is it one is it plus is it minus is it reciprocal is it same term is this term is swap so you can very well write the turbine equation from this without looking at this one i will tell you how to write down see here this one is 4 dash divided by t3 one will be as it is if it is plus opposite minus if it is just see it is eta t this bracket has to what this plant is called as open cycle plant because the exhaust gases here are not recirculated back so we have open cycle plant we have same component but this time we have compressor this one is called as combustion chamber and we are turbine we don't have pre-cooler now so this time we are taking a fresh charge of air so this one is fresh charge of air and air is supplied at mass flow rate equal to m dot a so from 1 to 2 we have compression of pure air 2 to 3 is a heat addition at constant pressure but this time we are burning the fuel having mass flow equals to m dot f and this fuel has the calorific value equal to cv so this mass flow rate multiplied by this cv will be the net heat supplied to the system externally and at this point we have a mixture so this time is also mixture and the mixture is exhausted from atmosphere 
so we are getting here m dot a plus m dot f so this color represents m dot a plus m dot f this one represents the white color is representing mass of air and fuel is coming from this side so on this line you have to use the value of cpg C specific heat of gas and on this side you have to use cp of air the component efficiency is given you make it equal to 2 dash and this equals to 4 dash we can use this equation from t1 you can directly calculate t2 dash the temperature t3 is maximum permissible temperature cycle that is normally provided minimum temperature equal to atmospheric 4 dash you can calculate using so we can calculate t4 dash from t3 and once we know the all the temperatures we can take out the two points higher minus lower and we can find out the power required so for compressor we can write down w dot c you have to write down product of mass into specific heat multiplied by temperature difference so what is the mass m dot a multiplied by cpa temperature t2 dash is higher minus t1 this one is actual power required to drive compressor then we we'll come to turbine w dot t what is the mass m dot a plus m dot f and what is the temperature difference 3 minus 4 dash it's a cp or cpg cpg higher temperature is t3 lower temperature is 4 dash once you get these two value can we calculate net power develop so net power develop is w dot t minus w dot c and if you know the mass part of fuel, then only you can use this equation. And if the mass part of fuel is known and color people is known, so we have rate of heat supplied. So this time everything in dot form, that is kilowatts. This one is m dot f multiplied by calorific value. This is kg per second. This one is kilojoule per kg. So this will be kilowatt. And hence we can get efficiency. So thermal efficiency. This time is thermal and previously was air standard because working fluid was air. So we have thermal efficiency equals to w dot net divided by heat supplied specific steam consumption we are using the Rankine cycle this time it's a specific fuel consumption the amount of quantity to produce 1 kilowatt of power and is expressed in kg per kilowatt per hour this is 3600 divided by w net w net is specific quantity without containing the mass here this system now we are interested basically that if we have given the mass of air and you have given the value of cp and you know the temperature t3 then we want to find out air fuel ratio calculation for this one we take the system boundary like this in mechanics language we will take the fbd take out this figure outside this figure you have to copy down from here is cc what is the mass coming from this side is m dot a what is the specific heat cpa temperature t2 dash how much heat is coming from top side m dot f into into calorific value if this combustion has certain efficiency, we will consider combustion efficiency because there may be conversion, 100% conversion may not be possible. The mass at this point is m dot a plus m dot f. Calorific value, uh, specific it is CPG. Temperature is T3. This system is multiple input, multiple output. For multiple input, multiple output, we have Q dot plus m dot i hi equal to w dot plus m dot e he now we assume this is 100 percent adiabic chamber so q dot equal to 0 m dot i so this one is in and this one is in so we have m dot a into cpa into t2 dash plus mass of fuel into calorific value into eta combustion right hand side w dot is 0 because there is no moving part combustion chamber has no moving part right hand side is this equation can we generate two term from this one term is m dot a into cpg multiplied by t3 plus m dot f multiplied by cpg multiplied by t3 so t3 is more so it is better to shift this term on this side and we will shift this term on this side so what do you get so this term is shifted on this side so this is mass of fail multiplied by cv multiplied by eta com combustion efficiency minus m dot f into cpg into t3 right hand side is m dot a into cpg into t3 this term is minus m dot a into cpa into t2 dash so from this we can take out m dot f common so we left it m dot f into cv into eta com minus cpg into t3 is m dot a into cpg t3 minus cpa into t2 dash this one is m dot a 
upon m dot f. I am writing m dot a by m dot f. So this one is CV into eta com minus CPG into T3 divided by CPG into T3 minus T2 dash. So CPA into T2 dash. Number one thing, how you can remember this? From this plant, are you able to draw this figure? Number one, thing, you have to draw a proper arrow. <coughs> Leftward arrow, downward arrow, rightward arrow. Can you write down the quantity m dot a cpa t2 dash? This is m dot a plus m dot f. This one is m dot f. It means that we have already applied law of conservation of mass. And law of conservation of energy we are applying. Thermal means only two equations. Law of conservation of mass and law of conservation of energy. Once you write it, cancel this term. Now check this. This minus this, is it your numerator? And this minus this, is it your denominator? Now let calculate the theoretical value of this one. Calorific value is normally 45,000. Combustion efficiency temporary will neglect. Make assume one. CPG and CPA they are almost same value. If unless or until mentioned, you can take CPA equal to CPG. That value is equal to 1. So minus. Maximum temperature in the cycle let us say around 1600 Kelvin. Okay. Let us say 1600 Kelvin. Divided by the maximum temperature equal to 600 Kelvin. And the temperature at the end of compression at this point, it depends upon pressure ratio. It depends upon pressure ratio and we can calculate this. Suppose say I take a pressure ratio of 4. So using that you can calculate. It will be around 500 to 600. Select this value equals to what? 700. So what is this approximate ratio? Just a rough idea. So this answer come out to be what? 48. And if I change the value of the compressor outlet equal to say 500. In that case ratio will be. So we can make a comment here that air fuel ratio for gas turbine is around 50. 50 is to 1. Sometimes can increase to 70 is to 1 also. It means that to burn 1 kg of fuel, you are burning 70 kg of air. To burn 1 kg of fuel, you require 70 kg of air. And therefore, the compressor use is centrifugal compressor. Because centrifugal compressor and axial flow compressor, they can basically suited for large discharge and low pressure ratio. That is why the choice is what? Centrifugal compressor. So, how to work out when no mass is given? So, step number 1 is common, step number 2 is common. And you ch check the blocks, according to that, you have to write down the equation for specific now. So, what is specific? Mass will not come. CPG will be same as CPA. So, what is WC? WC simply equals to C multiplied by T2 dash minus T1, WT, CP, temperature is T3 minus T4 dash. Now this is Q in. So this one is Q in. So this Q in is CP is simply T3 minus, this is W net divided by Q in is efficiency. The mass and the value of CV is not given, then this formula will fail. So you have to use the same formula, but you have to multiply by what? M dot of A. So we have alternate formula here that m dot air into cp into t3 minus t2 dash this is the same formula we have taken this for wind balance when you have derived the equation for air fuel ratio so either they will give mass of fuel if mass of fuel is not given and cv is not given go for this option